Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 31st, 2023, the last trading day of August. And we have an interesting day shaping up with considerable data coming our way, some on jobs, some on inflation, and we have a mix of price activity in the pre-market here this morning that's also kind of interesting. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, if we take a look, our relief rally continued, but we sputtered a little bit here in our indexes. As you can see, we are now significantly higher from uh, last week. You can see one, two four days this would be our fifth and the diamonds is trying to gap up here this morning right into this next level of price resistance here in the chart so watch that carefully now if we also take a look across in here this is our downtrend here in the chart and we're going to want to watch that closely because we're kind of running into that little bit of a double whammy resistance area now it's all going to probably depend on the data that we see today on how we're going to progress if we're going to be able to break that downtrend here and see those bulls come back in and continue or if we're going to push back down and maybe test that 50-day moving average in the chart as a price support to see whether or not we can hold in that area and potentially create a higher low. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, and data could, today could bring in just about anything. Let's take a look. If the bulls were to find inspiration, where would we go? Well, I think if the bulls were to find inspiration, we'd push right up into this level here. If they can pop that level, then we're popping that downtrend and we may push up into this next level here on the diamonds. If the bears were to find inspiration today, then I would suspect a pretty good chance that we would come back down into this range here, seeing if we can test that 50 day moving average, hold on to the support area and also hold on to the trend. So watch that carefully on the charts today. Could expect some considerable volatility around that um, inflation number today. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at our um, SPY, SPY also pushing to the upside, one, two, three, four. This will be our fifth day up, trying to gap a little bit higher here this morning. We'll want to watch that carefully if we can continue that push. Remember, we're pushing up into this trend break. We broke our trend here and I could adjust that just a little tiny bit. Sometimes I don't draw those lines all that carefully. But as you can see, we're pushing up into this area where we may find some price resistance right here and also um, that uh, trend break. So we'll wanna watch this area in the chart. And remember, as we continue to rally, we're starting to see volumes lighten up. So that might be the clue or the hint that we'll wanna watch for that possibility of a lower high, um, particularly if the data is not um, conducive or more upside move. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, I think a, a very high probability would be a pullback to come back down in here and test this 50 day moving average and price support that we've got here in that area of the chart. So watch that carefully. If those bears were to come back in, maybe we come back down into this area someplace and we'll want to watch that fairly close. If we take a look at, and the reason is that would be a pretty painful pullback, um, but we certainly have the data that could provide that today. 
If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ um, also struggling here a little bit more this morning and just recently it's trying to push back up here. We've been down on this, had a little bit of a mix in that um, um, those numbers today, but they're trying to push around here this morning, trying to show a lot of confidence. You'll notice right in here, we're trying to break this downtrend here in the chart we squeaked out from underneath that yesterday so we've got this resistance level here in the chart as well that we're trying to break through to the upside so if we can continue to do that and the bulls find that inspiration to do so maybe a push back up in here notice we've got a little price resistance right in here on that chart to contend with and if the bears were to find inspiration then i would suggest a possible pullback right back down into this level here which would be pretty close in there on testing that 50-day moving average to see whether or not that's going to hold um, for those bulls to the upside if we take a look at our IWM, IWM also rallying up, struggling a bit more here, but breaking through this resistance yesterday and holding. So if those bulls continue to find inspiration here in the market, well, let's look up here. You can see there's a little tiny gap up open right there, maybe up into this area would be the next resistance area of IWM. And if we take a look at our moving averages, you're gonna find that that area right in there is going to be right above that 50-day moving average to see whether or not we can break above that. If we take a look at um, whether or not the bears uh, can find inspiration, I would suggest maybe a pullback right into here to test this area first. And of course, if that were to fail, there really isn't much um, in here on this except um, a pullback into this area of um, the chart in IWM. That, of course, would constitute a failure of the 50 and might raise a little bit of concern. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX uh, continued to drop hard yesterday, so no fear all of a sudden here in the market. We seem to be very, very confident, but I'll show you some numbers here that, or show you some charts that maybe this is a little bit of a false read and I think it's really being pressed just simply by what they call nowadays the Magnificent Seven, um, which constituted the majority of the move yesterday in the market. So we're breaking, um, we broke this uh, trend here um, when we got bearish in the market, pushing up and we started the upside trend. Now we've broken that trend to the downside. We're pushing back down in here to test some support levels in the chart. So keep a close eye on that as we push down. Remember, multiple days up in a row, we should expect some kind of a resting pullback at any time to occur. If we take a look at um, our T21, 22. T2122 has also expanded itself up here dramatically, but here's that indication, those, those charts that I was talking about, where we had um, all of our indexes up yesterday on the move. It was on light volume. I want you to notice that on the four week new high, new low ratio, we actually turned lower. So what that means is we actually had more stocks moving back down yesterday than we had moving up. So it really was those big tech giants that were doing the majority of the lifting in the index is trying to push us higher. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, if we can find that bullish inspiration today and with this gap up that we're seeing in the diamonds, I would not rule out the possibility that we could be up here um, in that bearish reversal zone here on T2122. So you'll want to keep that in mind. And if the bears were to find inspiration, just kind of keep in mind, we've opened up a pretty big opportunity for a reversal to the downside, maybe just testing those support levels in the 50 day moving average. But that being said, the reason, the way we have stretched to the upside, it could be a painful move if that were to occur. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 also signaled that weakness here in the market. Notice that we just kind of hooked over here just a little bit. We still rallied, but just hooked over a little bit, which kind of shows us that um, the percentage of stocks above the 40 day did improve just slightly to 40%. Uh, percent. 
but you can see that we still had a lot of those stocks not doing all of that all that well so we did get a little bit of a false reading in those tech giants um, as they continue to rally so watch that carefully we're pushing up against some resistance levels in the chart if we can break out of there hey maybe we're in great shape if that uh, data today um, helps us push on out of that if the data uh, disappoints then um, we'll want to watch for that potential push lower and then that t2107 kind of the same thing um, t2107 hooked over yesterday showing that well we had about an equal number of stocks um, that were holding above that that 200 day and slipping back below so about 48 percent 48 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day again we're testing resistance levels in this chart and i'll keep pointing this out um, we still have that potential that if we were to fail along that resistance that head and shoulders pattern could come into play here on t2107 and then t2101 um, also continued to um, stretch to the upside here showing that um, um, as we push to the upside we're expanding or trying to expand we're really trying to expand on the market breadth but you'll notice that the market breadth this was the sell wave in the market this is the buy wave in the market that market breadth is not really keeping up with the um, uh, what we saw in the selling so it is beginning to show a little bit of weakness now that could change today with the market data but watch that carefully if we continue to weaken on that market breadth as we rally that is that clue that we could start pulling back in the market and let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar well we've got few things to be paying attention to here um, in the market. I've been talking about this this morning um, through the entire video. And first off, we're going to have Challenger Job Cut Report. We've got Bostic speaking here early this morning. Don't see any major problems with that um, so far today. Probably the bigger one here is going to be the personal incomes and outlays. Now, looking at the consensus in here, if you take a look at uh, the jobless claims, they're looking for a little tiny increase in claims. But what we've been seeing in some of these numbers uh, this week is a sudden drop in uh, job availability. And maybe we'll start to see this start to perk back up. Now, this can have an interesting effect. Um, remember, if this were to perk up, that is a good sign for the Fed. The Fed wants to see more people on the unemployment line. So that's um, what they, they want to see increase. At the same time, if this gets too big, market's going to see that as pretty bearish. So we've got this, we got this tightrope we're walking here on the jobless claims. Keep a close eye on that if um, they were to suddenly spike up. And that's one of the things that I've seen in the past. We kind of trip along here pretty good and then all of a sudden all of a sudden job, jobless numbers uh, perk up so watch that carefully and then the personal incomes and outlays this is going to be an important number and you can see this year over year consensus number is actually suggesting that we move up to 4.2 percent remember the fed target is two percent so that's more than double where the fed wants it to be if that were to come in and of course these numbers if they come in better than expected will be positive for the market if they come in worse than expected will be negative for the market and i think there is a lot of uncertainty about where these might come in so watch that carefully we know food prices have continued to move up we know energy prices have been moving up rents have been moving up we saw um, the housing price index move up yesterday so um, food shelter and 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 um, energy are the three major factors affecting the consumer so that'll be important number today if that increases we're then going to have uh, Collins will be speaking today Chicago PMI which is expected to come in um, a little bit better than last time um, they're looking at a 44.6 but remember guys anything under 50 anything under 50 continues to show that the PMI is in contraction. Um, we've been ignoring that. We were at 42.8 last night, just absolutely ignoring that our economy is in contraction while we continue to push 
prices higher and higher and higher. And then if we take a look, we've got um, a natural gas report, we've got some bond auctions in here and the Fed balance sheet. And then just keep in mind, we'll be sliding right into Friday, that employment situation number with another PMI and an ISM number, construction spending. Not only that, we have a three-day weekend ahead and a lot of folks will be traveling extending their vacation so you'll want to watch for that possibility as well where volume could really start to drop off today on the getaway day out of the cities to head off on their holiday plans uh, remember three-day weekend we'll be closed on monday let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if oh you know what um, i need to cover the uh, um, earnings calendar but the earnings calendar has enough um, um, an, enough reports on it I'd like you to make sure and click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog I'll just go over a couple of them here because of time um, probably one of the most notable is going to be um, AVGO here after the bell today uh, Broadcom a major supplier to Apple keep an eye on that we're going to hear from uh, like cpb cpb not showing much action here this morning we're going to hear from dollar general today Ooh, that one looks like it hurt uh dollar general uh pushing to the downside we're going to hear from hormel here this morning another uh painful report it looks like here pushing that one down uh, we're going to hear from general mills today we are going to hear from um uh, Lulu. So pay attention to some of these reports today. Quite a few things moving around. Um, um, five Below reported yesterday another retail. And you can see we're struggling in a lot of the retail here showing that weakening consumer. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in this market. Good chance that we could see some volatility. Good chance after we get that volatility, we could see lower than expected volume just because of folks heading out for the long weekend. So be prepared for some volatility, some challenging price action, or having that, I should say, continue challenging price action in the stocks. Let's take a look here. Um, TLRY, TLRY, big old pop yesterday in TLRY. I had this alert here on the trend. It just moved so fast. This was, this whole candle was in less than 15 minutes. I didn't get a chance to jump in and I'm certainly not going to chase it. So I'm going to be watching this carefully. A little resting pullback in here might set up that next opportunity in Telray. Um, looking at the options, I really don't like the options at all. It'd probably be a stock trade for me. Um, so watch that carefully in here. Remember, Telray picked up a lot of the major brands um, from Anheuser-Busch. I think eight brands um, they picked up from Anheuser-Busch. Um, so watch that carefully. Um, rest or pullback in here could certainly set up an opportunity. And um, CGC, CGC, another cannabis play here, popping up, trying to come up out of this rectangular bottom in here. We might see if that can break out of that resistance er, um, area here, pop above then there might be something in here to pay attention to. But, you know, a 50 cent stock is just not something that I'm all that excited about. Um, at. So I'd be more inclined to uh, mess with uh, Telray than I would um, CGC on, on Canopy. Let's take a look at a couple other things. In fact, let's go to some more C's. How about CCJ? CCJ continuing to look very, very good. This was my last alert continuing to push higher now i would expect we're up so many days in a row i would expect some kind of a rest or pullback to come in here soon but as long as it holds on to that trend you can continue to look for those upside moves in ccj watch that carefully let's take a look at um, u.s steel now u.s steel um, remember this was that failed deal between u.s steel and um um, Cleveland Cliff. Cleveland was trying to buy them. U.S. Steel rejected that. We got a big pop on that news that they were rejected. Uh, pushing up here, breaking through resistance in the chart, as you can see, and trying to hold an area of price support 
here. Now, what makes this interesting to me is simply the decline that were the weakening that we've been seeing here in the US dollar. That was a pretty fast weakening. Unfortunately, it's starting to strengthen again here and we're holding on to this price support. But if if the dollar were to continue to weaken and with inflation data today that's certainly possible then keep an eye on some of these commodity plays that are holding up in here u.s steel might have some opportunity for that upside move um, as you know i was expecting gold to maybe start looking lower here in the chart and we surged up as that dollar weakened so watch that carefully here as well uh, on the commodity side of things gold silver they're all trying to push up and test some downtrends and resistance levels in charts if the dollar continues to weaken these could break out you'll want to keep an eye on those take a look at like cf industries cf again ag related commodity type play in here um, showing some bounce back energy into the downtrend and resistance if the dollar continues to weaken we might see these starting to come back around to the top side um, right now still a big question with the dollar strengthening this may be just setting up the next short if we take a look at some of our energy stocks um, CVX CVX holding in here on support we certainly had data yesterday showing that our supplies are diminishing declining um, providing some um, um, some hold here on CVX now one of the things that we're worried about of course is how these higher prices are going to be um, affecting inflation but let's watch that carefully if we can hold this area in here and we continue to see that constriction in those energy uh, numbers then we certainly could see this begin to rally on out if you look at um, other stocks in the area mro mro holding into a nice pattern you can see holding this support still trying to deal with this resistance but we're certainly on that upside move right now so I would look for that next opportunity in here where that could push on through and move to the upside. Um, stocks like AR um, showing that bounce back strength here. We saw um, ExxonMobil uh, moving up um, sharply here just recently and we're pressing up in here to test some resistance in that chart as well. So again, if that dollar weakens, I would look uh, to some of these energy stocks to potentially move on higher. So keep a close eye on those. Other places that um, you might want to take a peek at, take a look at Federal Express. Federal Extra Express had a little bit of a wobble here that might have raised some concern. Um, I was looking for this to maybe continue right on through um, um, in this area, but you can see we've slipped this trend here just a little bit, slipping lower but now we're trying to come back up. And this is a key element for me for a bullish chart. If we fail a support level, we must recover it and then prove to hold. So if we can push up and hold, that begins an upside trend or resumes an upside trend. So keep an eye on FedEx, still holding in there pretty well, trying to show some bullishness. Um, there are quite a few charts out there also suggesting um, some bearishness could come into them. Take a look at uh, uh, Disney. Um, Disney rallying back to this major break of support here in the chart. Uh, this is one that I think still has that opportunity as we rally up. This could um, continue to fade and move along its downtrend in here. It's not looking good on Disney at the moment. So there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to today. A few things for you to look at. Remember, they're not recommendations for anything. Just something for your watch list. If y'all... Um, um, want to trade today I would be a little bit careful and cautious and thoughtful about the three-day weekend coming up how much risk do you want to hold into a three-day weekend and then um, I want to wish you all the very very best of success today thank you so much for being here I truly appreciate it we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning have a great day everyone